Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to another video about Overwatch. The goal for this series is to introduce the different characters of Overwatch so you can get an advantage when you are first able to play this game, likely later this year. I will try and keep these videos short and concise but with all the necessary information for you to get started. Last week we had a look at Reaper, today we're going to be having a look at Winston. Imagination is the essence of discovery. If you have any suggestions for the next character that I should cover in this series, let me know down below. When you look at Winston, you will probably immediately know what his role is going to be in the game. He is big, he is a gorilla, and he does a lot of melee damage and other kind of things that we'll go over in this video, but it's pretty obvious that he is going to be the tank. Winston is used to shield away damage from the allies and to make sure that the enemies are taken out of position. His basic function is to be a meat shield between the enemies and the allies. Winston has a lot more hit points than other heroes in the game and he's really quite mobile for being such a big tank. When he activates his ultimate ability, he will almost double his hit points once again and he will be nearly unstoppable. He zones out other players and does melee damage. His main role, however, is not to deal damage, but it doesn't mean that he cannot deal it. And well, while he's doing his ultimate ability, he is hitting people in the face with his fists. I mean, you know, he is still a gorilla after all. Alright, so let's have a look at the abilities. First off, on the left mouse button we have the Tesla Cannon. This is a short range electric shot that does damage to enemies that are nearby in a cone forward. You can simply just hold down the left mouse button and this ability will keep on going. Next we have Jump Pack. This is a shift ability. Winston jumps up in the air and deals significant amounts of damage on impact as well as staggers enemies. This ability has an 8 second cooldown so you will be able to use it to get up to high grounds to get into middle of combat but also to get out of trouble later on. His E ability is Shield Projector. Winston puts down a Shield Projector that basically creates a dome around the projector that he puts on the ground. Allies can stand inside of the bubble and take no damage at all. The projector, however, absorbs damage until it is destroyed. The cooldown of the Shield Projector is slightly longer than that of the Jump Pack, so you cannot use it as often. The ultimate ability of Winston is Primal Rage. Winston goes into a rage and embraces his animal nature. He gains additional health and does a lot of melee damage. You can also be using Jump Pack more often while in Primal Rage, which is that big jump ability we just discussed. He does a lot of melee damage while in Primal Rage, but he loses the ability to use the Shield Projector as well as the Tesla Cannon temporarily. Primal Rage lasts for 10 seconds. All these abilities really allow Winston to be in the middle of combat pretty much at all times. He won't be really dealing out the most damage, but he will be essential for a team's survival. Without a proper tank, it is going to be very difficult for other heroes like Tracer and Reaper, for example, to get the damage in. As a Winston player, you're gonna have to make sure that you're in the front of the battle and that you are shielding away the damage that your allies would otherwise take. Because of his very high health pool and because of that health pool increasing once again when you use Primal Rage and because of the jump back ability, you should really not go down very often. Be smart about your positioning and use jump back to get into the battle, but most importantly pay attention to the cooldown so you can get out of the battle in time as well. In the gameplay footage that is available of Overwatch right now, it is very clear that a good Winston player will be very difficult to kill as you simply won't get close to him at low health if he is paying attention to his cooldowns. One thing to note about Shield Projector, which is his E ability, is that it can be used on moving objects in the map. You can put your projector down and shield your allies with it. It's great for zoning enemies out, obviously, because you can basically shield away a big chunk of the map temporarily. One thing to note about Shield Projector is that enemies can step inside of the Shield Projector, so if you put it down when you're very low in health, it's not gonna really achieve all that much. It's not an all-round safe option. Cooldown on Primal Rage will be determined by the amount of time you spend in combat. Make sure you use it when multiple enemies are nearby because it seems like Winston will almost always kill at least one player almost immediately after activating the ability, especially if they do not have a proper escape available. Keep in mind though that on Winston it is not necessarily about killing enemies, it is about forcing enemies out of position and soaking up the damage for your allies to do the damage instead. A solid team composition will always need at least one tank. So as Winston, know that that is your role. Soak up the damage for your allies and let them get the kill until you get your primal rage up. Then go on a rampage. As far as Winston's story goes, there's really a lot to talk about. In short, Winston is a super intelligent, genetically engineered gorilla. He's a scientist and a champion for humanity's potential. Most of the story of Winston doesn't even really happen on planet Earth. He was part of a group genetically enhanced gorillas that were intended to test the effects of prolonged habitation on other planets, to see if humans could potentially live on other planets as well. 
One of these gorillas displayed such rapid development from the therapy that he was taken under the wing of Dr. Harold Winston, who taught him all about science and human ingenuity. Winston then assisted the scientist in experiments and helped him out for a long time. After a while, however, the other gorillas didn't really like the fact that they were being led by humans, so they sort of had an uprising and claimed the colony on the other planet for their own. The gorilla in question decided to take the name of his human caretaker and Winston decided to build a rocket and escape to Earth. On Earth he joined Overwatch and he was able to live up to all the expectations that he had for humanity. But obviously Overwatch disbanded and Winston is looking to get back to his former glory. I hope this video answered all questions that you have about Winston. If it doesn't however, make sure you let me know down below. Also make sure you leave the suggestion of the next hero that you would like me to cover of Overwatch down below as well. I want to thank you guys all for watching, have an amazing day, do not forget to smile, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!